All right, I want to I want to state this that this is a response to the update updated press conference that took place with the Winnebago County State's Attorney and the Rockford Chief of Police yesterday. Uh, this is a I, I wrote this. It's a prepared statement. Uh, I wanted to make sure I didn't misspeak in trying to get to these things. I want to start off by sending my condolences to the family of Demavely Macklin. Though I can't imagine the feeling of bearing a son or a brother that has been murdered, I do know the pain of losing a loved one to gun violence, and it's something that stays with you forever. I do not know what took place at the 1020 block of Herman Street on September 26th. The community as a whole does not know what took place on the 1020 block of Herman Street on September 26th, and that is why an investigation was conducted and the accused party was brought up on charges by a grand jury. The grand jury indicted him, and he will stand trial for those charges. The evidence will be presented, and the grand jury will decide, and the jury will decide on his innocence or guilt. If found guilty, he will be sentenced for the crime. And depending on the crime, the, the judge will hand down what the sentence is. That is what the Winnebago County and the city of Rockford have determined justice looks like. All that is being asked of the city of Rockford and Winnebago County is to keep that same energy when it comes to the police officers who commit crimes while on duty. Dominic McNeese should be brought up on charges for attempted murder, reckless endangerment, and any other crimes connected to the shooting of an unarmed citizen on October 2nd at South Main and Harrison. If there is determined to be probable cause by a grand jury, he should be indicted, issued a warrant of arrest, and stand trial. However, if the Winnebago Boone Integrity Task Force and the Winnebago County State's Attorney choose to continue in their past footsteps of unaccountability and impunity by finding the shooting of an unarmed man in the back justified, then all information regarding the investigation should be released, including any and all video footage in full with no edits. For 48 days, the May 30th Alliance have lived outside of City Hall demanding a simple press conference from Mayor Tom McNamara in which he addressed the six months of police terrorism that has been put on display in this city and answer questions from media. He has chosen to send out two Facebooks instead from behind his desk. When businesses were vandalized and looted and city property damaged, Mayor McNamara didn't choose to make Facebook posts. He called every black number in his phone and held press conferences and assured his black constituents that he was listening. But now that a black man has been attempted to be lynched by the police officers in his city, it is clear that those listening sessions fell on deaf ears. The question on day 48 of this occupation is just as it is, just as it was on day one of the occupation. Was Dominic McNeese within his legal rights to shoot Tyrus Jones in the back? City Hall has protesters living on his sidewalk because up and until now, the answer to that question has been yes. In the city of Rockford, the police have been given the legal right to be judge, jury, and executioner on the streets, while mayor after mayor and state's attorney after state's attorney have allowed and enabled this police terrorism. In 2020, city after city has dealt with this issue with the brutal lynching of George Floyd erupting demonstrations nationwide. It is long overdue for this city and for this county to deal with the culture of impunity that the police have operated with. The incoming state's attorney, Jay Hanley, and the current mayor, Tom McNamara, have both stated that they are in favor of releasing video footage of police-related sh police shootings. So if the charges are not brought up, there should be no hesitancy and no delay in the releasing of all dash cam footage and any security camera footage. We cannot set a precedent that being accused of a crime is punishable by being murdered by the police officers. If that's the case, then every, every open murder, every open robbery, every open theft, every open drug dealer has an open season out on them when they are being chased by the police department. Tom McNamara has announced that he's running for re-election. This should be at the crux of any issues that come from this election. This should be something that anybody who is supporting him, anybody that is in favor of him, anybody that stands by him or co-signs him is asking him on a daily basis, what is he gonna do about the police terrorism that is running rampant in Rockford, Illinois? 